Good morning, it's Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. And on this date in history, 40 years ago today, Ronald Wilson Reagan, the 40th president of the United States, was shot while leaving the Hilton Hotel in Washington, D.C. It didn't make much sense, Henry. He puts you here and then he runs around where he comes. Some of you were not born yet, many of you too young, but many of us remember that day in vivid detail. I was a sophomore in college in Chattanooga, Tennessee, working at the campus radio station, and I remember us all huddled around a little black and white TV watching the footage that had just come in from the news networks of the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan there at the Hilton Hotel in Washington, D.C. Now I want to give you an angle to this story that you probably have never heard before. The Secret Service agent standing right behind President Reagan is Jerry Parr. And here's the interesting thing. When Jerry Parr was a kid in 1939, growing up in Montgomery, Alabama, one summer he went to see a new movie called Code of the Secret Service, starring Ronald Reagan. I got an easier way than that. Can you get me a messenger service? What are you doing? I got an angle. Hello, say, will you send a messenger over to the Lone Star Rooming House? I wanted to help with some packages. Okay, thanks. Well, that takes care of me, but what about you? When Jerry Parr went home that day from the movie, he told his mom and dad, when I grow up, I want to be just like Ronald Reagan. I want to be a United States Secret Service agent. And what was critical to that March 30th day in 1981 is Jerry Parr used his instincts, as you can see in the picture here, and he thrust at President Reagan into the presidential limousine. They took off toward what was going to be the White House, but Jerry Parr then... His training kicked in, he examined the president, saw he was coughing up some frothy blood, and he ordered the driver to make a turnaround and head straight to the George Washington Hospital. You know, it was William Shakespeare who said, some are born great, some attain greatness, yet others have greatness thrust upon them. Ronald Reagan was a man with a great sense of humor, and even in a time of a crisis, he kept that sense of humor. When Nancy finally arrived to the hospital to, to see her husband, the first thing he said was, honey, I forgot to duck. And as they were wheeling him into the operating room and he was about to go under total uh, anesthetic, he looked up at the doctors and he said, I hope you're all Republican. Amazing story as we remember the history of U.S. presidents.